Hello and welcome to the Kashmir University Video Digest Quest. First, let's take a look at the highlights. Center for Central Asian Studies organizes International Student Exchange Program. The Department of Chemistry is celebrating its Golden Jubilee Year. And Open Con Srinagar 2018 held. Now the details with your host, Binish Ali. The Center for Central Asian Studies organized a student exchange program with the Islamic Science University of Malaysia. The three-day student exchange program saw students of various faculties from Islamic Science University of Malaysia visit the University of Kashmir for interaction. Director CCAS Professor G. N. Khaki underlined the importance of interacting with international students. The interactions that we make by taking recourse to the contemporary technology that is available with us, the mobile, the internet and many more things that we use to make interaction with our friends and colleagues and the students who live in different departments and who work in different institutions. But the fundamental thing is to have an, you know, on-the-spot interaction with the students is altogether different and it has no substitute to the technology that is being used worldwide to make interconnectedness possible. That is the reason that most of the students and the scholars and the distinguished you know, policy makers are representing and acknowledge the interaction of the communities and the civilizations and the students so as to give furtherance to the knowledge, to the vision, to the understanding that is going on among different institutions and to know more about the students, their mode of writing, their mode of interactions, their mode of concentration on different aspects of life that will in fact make a difference. We are sure that such type of interactions will be more conducive to the requirements of 21st century youth of our valley and to the students of our university. Dean College Development Council Professor Nilofar Khan briefed the foreign delegates about the activities that students of the university take part in. Uh, we have very healthy debating competitions. We send our students even to uh, you know uh, different parts of the world uh, for debating. Uh, and you'll be happy to know that uh, you know female students. We have very good female students as debaters. Those who have uh, you know uh, taken part uh, in various competitions uh, at the uh, even in Malaysia, even in Australia. I remember. Uh, so uh, I'm sure that while interacting with our uh, students, you will find that you know our uh, students are very intelligent, very hardworking, and very creative. Uh, I personally feel that this interaction should not be, uh, you know, limited over here only this morning. Uh, we should make efforts. I would request my DSW to make efforts, you know, how more uh, we can uh, collaborate with each other. Registrar Professor Kursheed Ahmed Bhatt termed the interaction of Malaysian students with the University of Kashmir as a joyful and satisfactory moment. This is really I personally feel this is a moment of great joy and a moment of great satisfaction that this, this Islamic University of Malaysia has chosen our university to send their boys and girls. I welcome you all. You are our honored guests. And we are hopeful that this exchange, this visit to our university will be a great learning for all of you. And Fortunately or unfortunately, because the theme of this exchange program is economics and finance, I'm a very small student of economics and finance. You see, finance is a very, very important area. And ultimately, everything boils down on finance. Say, if you have a good idea, but you don't have the finances, then that becomes a limitation to actually to translate that really good idea into a real action. But as a student of finance, I will say just one thing. We all know finance throughout the world in, you know, at the macro level or at the micro level is always a very limiting resource. It's a very, very limiting resource. If you'll see all countries all over the world, they have a one deficiency, that is the deficiency of finances. 
Vice Chancellor Professor Khurshid Iqbal Andrabi said that interactions of such kind make institutions universal in appeal. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to see how it becomes a very small world when it comes to education and uh, to see all young students from Malaysia actually really gives true worth to the name university because university word is enshrined about universality and this is the best example of how the two educational institutions come close for the sake of being called university. Notwithstanding the educational aspect of your trip here at the university, I am sure that this trip is more about being ambassadorial from your side of, to, of Malaysia and vice versa from our side. I think it's a, more of a, you know, uh, the, the uh, crux of education that is the, how culturally you have developed and how culturally we have developed and what you can learn from us and what we can learn from you. Later, speaking to the Quest team, in charge officer of Islamic Science University Malaysia, Dr. Muhammad Nazar Ibn Noor Muhammad expressed satisfaction with the interaction and said such exchange programs help students to understand the world. Uh, this program is compulsory for our students to get involved and engage with uh, the international students and uh, to have uh, knowing the, uh, the other cultures and also uh, to have uh, learned, to, to get learned the, the, the culture of uh, other races and other, other uh, foreign students. And we choose Kashmir because it is a well-known uh, uh, state and place and very fascinating place. And uh, uh, although this is the first visit, our academic, first academic visit to Kashmir. Previously, uh, Kashmir was well known among Malaysian citizens. There are a lot of uh, tourists from Malaysia who are coming and continuous coming and visiting Kashmir year by year. And uh, actually, we are proud to be here in this uh, prestigious University of Kashmir having a good uh, 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 something to, to learn. He said that students from Malaysia were impressed with what they saw and heard in the University of Kashmir. Okay, uh, actually we are impressive with the uh, education culture of uh, Kashmir whereby uh, there are uh, uh, a lot of uh, updated knowledge in uh, certain uh, parts of uh, academic uh, 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 like uh, laws and also uh, we I think that uh, uh, it is good for us to uh, learn or if uh, Malaysian citizens are willing to to study in this uh, university uh, I propose that uh, the University of Kashmir as uh, the, 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 the option because uh, first uh, this is a very uh, uh, what we call it as uh, uh, among top 50 uh, university in India and also very prestigious university. Another delegation member, Muhammad Shazwan bin Naeem Ahmed Sarfi, said that he feels lucky to have interacted with the students of Kashmir University. The student in here, they have a loss of knowledge and we want, uh, we want to share uh, what we doesn't uh, learn in our university. That's why we want to do this uh, program to exchange what we have learned and what uh, Kashmir students learn. After that, after this program, we, when we come back to Malaysia, we can promote to our students, to our friends uh, from Islamic Science University of Malaysia to come to further their study in here. Because I know that they have, uh, in this university, there's a lot of potential because uh, they learn more on uh, philosophy, uh, they have uh, business school, they have uh, economics also. There's no difference between us. The Department of Chemistry is celebrating 50 years of its existence this year. The department has been a centre of excellence and has come a long way since its inception. On this occasion, the Quest team interacted with the head of department, Professor Muhammad Akbar Khuru. During the interaction, Professor Khuru said that the department has been on an upward trajectory. Alhamdulillah, if we look back 
when the department started, it started somewhere in 1967. Till date, that's we have passed around 50 years. We can say that we have been doing, alhamdulillah, extremely well. Our pass outs have been doing well, throughout, not throughout the country only. We have, our pass outs have gained reputation internationally. I'm in contact with some of them. They are very much interested in attending this program. They are holding some very, very important positions, especially in case of, um, say, I have some students working in US, some students working in Germany, some of them are doing good work in uh, Middle East. They have been quite enthusiastic about attending this program and feel proud that they, ha they are the pass outers of this department. So that makes us feel uh, comfortable, contented with the journey which we had started 50 years back and what we have achieved. He said that the department has always done what is best for the students. Our students are completely involved in the department, right from morning till evening. I think credit goes to the faculty of the department who are able to initiate or create in our students the enthusiasm, the involvement in the subject. That's really a great thing. In addition to that, since our chemistry department has a good amount of the lab work and that lab work is always fascinating for the students, that keeps them involved. So day in, day out, they are completely involved in the department than any other time they get. They are going to the library. Our library is well equipped with all the latest books. You can get all the latest collections in the library. And above all, then the instrumentation is there. So this is the good thing especially that the students are getting completely involved in the subject. That makes them very much enthusiastic and are definitely very, very much absorbed in the subject. Professor Kuru briefed about the research that is happening in the department. We've got the people working and we got a good amount of the research going on in physical chemistry, in organic chemistry, organic chemistry. We have got our youngsters who are involved in the research projects. A good number of papers are getting published with high impact factor. To be very honest, let me say that I'll say it with confidence that we people believe in publishing our research work in journals of repute and that's one another feather in our cap that we if we do the research it's a quality work and it is um, what we say it is acclaimed throughout the, in the research community so that's also going on I we can say that we are doing also good in that he said that there have been limitations but the department has tried to overcome those as best as possible it has always to be there criticism is always there we have our limitations. We can't say that everything is complete, especially in this competitive world. Um, that also in the world of technology, when the facilities in instrumentation has reached almost a sky high, we do have financial crunch. We are not able to provide the students what we should be able of. Of course, I'll admit it, like we have in instrumentations which are very, very costly. Maybe on that front, we are lacking bad, but we are still trying our level best from this way or the other way to make it possible, to make it up to the up to a certain level. He added that the department and the university have made provisions for students from weak financial backgrounds. Well, we do have some fellowships uh, where we can uh, sponsor these poor students, but not to that extent. It is definitely on the university level. University has such a program for the students who cannot afford their fee and all that. They do have such type of program and they come forward always to help those students whosoever are in need of it. Professor Khuru said that to commemorate the 50 years they will be bringing in the alumni from the initial batches of the department to meet the current students. Basically, the mission of this uh, mission of this uh, celebration is that we'll be having the first batch with us way back in 1967. They'll be interacting with the batch of the present semesters. So it will be a mutual exchange. Moreover, we'll get a time to introspect what it was what we have done and what can further be done. We have, uh, and in this program, I have some pass outs of this department who are working outside the country. I have a person from Germany. I have two people from America who are the pass outs of this department who are interested in coming and joining that function. They'll be delivering lectures and these vice chancellors will be talking to the students. It will be a great boost to my students then when they see that the pass outs of this department have become vice chancellors, they have become scientists 
scientists of repute, I definitely am sure that this will mm, induce in them uh, mm, enthusiasm so that they will feel doing better and better. They'll have a confidence that yes, they are in a very, very good department. They are in a very, very good subject. Professor Kuru said that the journey of past 50 years has been successful and fruitful. It has been a successful journey and we can say that we are moving ahead and definitely with confidence and our goals are high and we are going to achieve them inshallah. The Department of Library and Information Science organized OpenCon Srinagar 2018 deliberations on open perspectives. Open access refers to online research outputs that are free of all restrictions on access. Open access can be applied to all forms of published research output including peer-reviewed and non-peer-reviewed academic journal articles, conference papers, theses, etc. The idea behind OpenCon was to sensitize stakeholders and evolve effective strategy for promotion and propagation of open access, open science and open research at a global level. Head Department of Library and Information Science, Dr. Shabir Kanai, while presenting the welcome address, hoped that this seminar would help students in understanding on how to develop societies into knowledge-based ones. We are hopeful that deliberations and discussions in the present seminar will stimulate further discussions and debate for making knowledge and information readily available to the people so that the dream of converting present developing societies into knowledge-based societies in near future will be fulfilled and every individual of the society will not be an ignorant one but a well-informed and knowledgeable fellow on the planet Earth who will take the right decisions at the right time for his own self and for the whole society with the help of right and authoritative information. Former head of the department, Professor S.M. Shafi, in his keynote address, talked about the importance of having data for everything. Uh, data has become the integral component of the society and it's a for scholarly record, but it should be properly curated and can serve as a means of, because data serves as a means of validating knowledge and discovering new knowledge. And with, uh, but when we say about the data, what very important thing which I have forgotten to tell you, that, that I want to convey to you, because data is usually, if we classify, one is business data, you can't make it free, because business data, for marketing and all, it's, it's totally different. And there are business analytics uh, going on. Uh, they, 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 they collect it, they harvest it for their business uh, promotion. They will not allow you to touch the data because all business will go away. Other data which is very useful uh, relates to environment and medicine. Definitely, it should be made, it is mostly in the public domain. Uh, maybe after some time, because it is its concerns to the human society. There's a government data. Government makes it public, but all government there's a, some classified data can't be made. That's about the defence can't be made public. But one more classification which should be our concern perhaps is research data. Associate Professor from the Department of Biotechnology, Dr. Ajazul Haq, explained the meaning of open access in a globalized world to the participants. The open uh, access or the open concept means that whatever you do here at the University of Kashmir, so it should be available to any person in any part of the world. And whatever is going on in the rest of the world, whosoever does it, whether it's a research, whether it's data, whether it's an article, or whatever. So it should be vice versa ac accessible to you. Okay, you should, it should be accessible to you. It sh you should be able to use it, reuse it, and share it. So similarly, your data or research or articles, they should be accessible to uh, other people in the world. They should be able to use and reuse or reanalyze it, and they should be able to share it. Okay, so this is the sort of uh, the basic idea about this. Uh, open uh, concept. Okay, so first of all, what to share? Okay, so you have to decide what to share or what to make open and what not to make open.
That's all for today's episode. Log on to our website emmrckashmir.com where you can check the latest episode of Quest. You can also watch it on our YouTube channel KU Television. Send us your valuable suggestions at our email address that is quest at emmrckashmir.com. Before I take your leave, here are a few words of wisdom. Everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid.